you are very likely exchanging energy with both the light and the dark on a daily basis. I'm going to present this to you and I'm going to show you an example of how this occurred in my own life. So when you're in the really good feeling loving place, you can be sure that, that angelic presences, the light, so to speak, are basking in your energy, adding to your energy, and know this, you're adding to their energy. Now, let's consider the opposite. When you're in a really bad place and your energies are all not so good, despondent, etc., then there are what I call chaos energies that are actually stirring up more chaos and they are basking in your yucky energy, so to speak. It doesn't have to be, oh, I'm feeling murderous. I'm not talking about murderous energies. For Pete's sake, you would absolutely know that you're under the influence of some kind of chaos or dark energies if you were feeling like that. Here's an example. I'm on a mission right now actually to do something very important to bring more peace to the planet. And I'll have a link in the description below if you want to read about that. But yesterday I was driving and I wanted to eat at my favorite place in the whole wide world for breakfast which is Waffle House. It's quick, it's easy, the coffee's good, what's not to like? And they're the only place that makes good grits. Even if it's not the South, they have good grits. So, I'm a Southern girl, so I love grits. Back to the lesson. So, I pulled up to Waffle House, and I looked outside my window, and there were dragonflies flying everywhere. Well, to me, a dragonfly means good fortune. And then a wasp landed on my mirror, reflecting back to me. And other people might be afraid of wasp or bees, but God actually once sent me a sign from a wasp that had a light in its mouth. I have a video about that on YouTube somewhere. Anyway, I'm expecting to go into Waffle House and have this fabulous, enlightened experience. Well, I walk in, and I go up to the counter, and it's all dirty. So I'm like, hmm, I'll look for another place. And by the way, nobody looked at me, said hello, or anything. So I went around and looked for another place. It was all dirty. Then I went to another place. It was all dirty. So I went back to the first place because at least I could catch the eye of the waitress. And I did. She came over and she was all surly. She was not happy at all. She did not make me feel welcome. So um, I asked, I gave her my order and I asked for coffee. And several minutes went by and my coffee demons were acting up. I have to tell you. <laughs> I needed some coffee. So I started to get a little disgruntled whose energies were, was I feeding into? The chaos energies or the angelic energies? So finally I caught her eye and I said, could I please have the coffee? And she was all kind of surly responding. And then I noticed the guy cooking was all happy. And so I was saying to myself, you know what? I might leave her a little tip, but I'm going to leave that guy over there cooking because at least he smiled at me. I'm going to leave him a big tip. So then guess what? Holy Spirit started talking to me and said, Rebecca, what have we been talking to you about? The exchange of energy that you're exchanging between the light and the dark right now. The chaos and the peace, you could call it. So, Rebecca, why don't you take your own medicine? 
So you know what I did? I imagine that I'm weaving a net of light, pink light with gold filaments, filled with the love of divine source energy, filled with divine peacefulness. And in my imagination, that's key. Spirit work is done in your imagination. I hurled it over the grouchy lady, all the while asking forgiveness for my buying into the disgruntled, surly energy. So it was like a shift in the energy of the whole place because everybody in there was all grouchy except for that one happy cook. And then the, the surly waitress came by and she started interacting with the happy cook and she said to him, turn around. I don't know what popped into my head, but I said to her, I said, are you trying to look at his butt? And the whole Waffle House exploded in laughter. I went and put music on the jukebox. Before I left, we were all singing James Brown, I Feel Good. And everybody was happy. The lady who had been so grouchy just cheered up. And here's the story behind it. You see, we never know what kind of experience that people have had. Later, as I was enjoying my grits and eggs, I heard her saying to the boss, you know, I see your name. My name is on the schedule for tomorrow. My car's not working. I had to walk to work today, and I cannot walk to work two days in a row. Now, you see, that lady had some chaos energy going on in her life. And because I did listen to spirit, I felt a little chastised, I have to tell you. But here's the reason I'm making this video. I want you to be aware that you have opportunities all day long on a very subtle level to either exchange energy with the light or exchange energy with the dark or the chaos because it's possible to love the light it's possible to love the dark into the light, but it's not possible to hate the dark into anything but more chaos. So, how are you going to react today? If you'd like more information, I invite you to visit my site, RebeccaMarina.com. And I'll have my email in the description below if you'd like to contact me. And my friend, start being aware of the subtle energies. It's not always something huge. Who are you going to exchange energies with? Be aware of it. The light energies, the peaceful energies, because when you're exchanging energies with the light and the peace and the goodness, you're raising the vibrations of this planet. And when you're exchanging energies with the chaos, you're not raising the vibrations of this planet. And you can shift in a moment and weave yourself a net of love and light and throw it over when you see someone very disgruntled and email me your miracle stories. This is Rebecca Marina Messenger and you are loved. Mwah.